In the first program, the MAIN function has two arguments, called ARGC and ARGV. This lecture explains what they are. Let us consider this example. It is slightly more complex than the previous example. This program creates an integer, as the index for an array. An array is an ordered list of things. Each element in an array has an index. The next line prints ARGC's value. In print F, percentage D means the value of an integer. A RGC means the number of arguments given to the program. The value is at least one. The first argument is the program's name. Since every program needs a name, ARGC must be one or larger. In a C program, for means getting the values within a range. In this example, the index's value starts from 0, then it becomes 1, then 2, until it is ARGC minus 1. For each value of the index, the corresponding argument's value is printed. ARGV is an array of values. Each element is a string. In C programs, a string is like a word, a phrase, or a sentence. This line prints two values. The first is an integer and it is the value of the index. The second is a string. Please remember that the index starts from 0, not 1. The largest value of the index is ARGC minus 1. It cannot be ARGC. Now, let's run the program and understand how it works. I have already typed the program. I will run the program as an application. At the bottom in the console tab, you can see the output of this program. The first line prints ARGC equals to 1. This means the program has one input argument. The second line prints the only argument. This is the first element of the ARGV. The element is the name of the program. You can use Eclipse to control the input arguments. To do so, click Run on the menu bar and select Run Configuration. Click the Argument tab and type the word 1. Click Apply and Run. In the console, you can see that the program prints three lines. The program receives two input arguments. The first is the program's name. The second is the word we entered and it is 1. Please notice the 1 is not the first argument. Instead, it is the second argument. Please also notice that the index starts from 0, not from 1. Next, let's add some more argument. Follow the same procedure and enter the argument in the run configuration. I add the word 2 and number 2. Click apply and run. Now, there are four arguments. The word 2 and the number 2 are considered two different arguments, because they are separated by space. Let us try another example. This time the input is this program prints arguments. There are five arguments now, including the program's name. The program's name is always the first argument. Each word is an argument. You can add more spaces between the arguments. One space is as good as many. More spaces make no difference. You may be curious who calls the main function, and how the arguments are given to the main function. In Linux, it is called the runtime system, that calls the main function. Eclipse invokes the runtime system and provides these arguments. The next lecture explains how to use ARGC and ARGV to provide inputs to a program.